This is Elizabeth Salan, the owner of Echo in Wareham, which is a gorgeous store. So tell us how this store came about. Um, I knew I wanted a shop. I went and looked at retail shops around and retail square footage, but I wanted something a little different, and I accidentally ended up in the parking lot one day. I've known the building my whole life, and I was like, well, I don't know. What's going on? So I came in, and Sherry, who used to run it for years with her family, um, was here, and before the conversation ended, I was reopening the store. Um, that's literally <laughs> the story. There's, I can't change it. I can't make it yeah. up. Um, and from there, it just grew. It, it literally just grew. Like, it was... It was a little tiny thing, and then it was a bigger thing, and we went from nine artists in one room to over 100 artists in four rooms. So, yeah, and nice. the classroom space. So. And you just opened how many months ago? December 15th of last year was our opening day, so we're okay. kind of excited about Christmas being our anniversary season. So you <laughs> seem to have a wide variety of things. So from what to what are some examples of... That's all I have Those to say are... about that. Those I have one dollar so handmade cute. crocheted bat pins. Like how adorable! Those um, are adorable. They really are. They just they're came crocheted. in this morning. They're all crocheted. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're all hand stitched. Um, it's so, so cute. We have those, and we have um, hand carved wooden owls that are the perfect image. If you pan over to look at that fish, he's all carved. He, all his scales are individually done. He was done by Skip right here, and. Those carvings definitely are not a dollar, but they're worth every penny of the time the artist put into them. Definitely. Um, and yeah. we have natural products and a lot of functional things. Um, we have these beautiful stainless steel cumblers that we, we carry that are all different sizes and shapes and can be customized. We do a lot of individual and custom work. Um, we try to size bracelets up for artists if, or for uh, customers if they want something that's bigger than what we have. Um, we have a lot of vintage and repurposed stuff in the building, um, mm -hmm. a lot of upcycled furniture pieces and some beautiful hand-painted things, and then a lot of fine art, too. So it's a very unique, unusual space. Um, wow. And this building was the only place that it could have existed. It really is. Like, it when, would be so different it, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, when you see it, you, you really believe that. Yeah. And aren't you an artist as well? I am. Yeah, it's a tough thing for me to say out loud, but I am, yes. Um, uh, what is your... I do garden design and installation. I have for oh. years. So that made being an artist into being a gardener. So I got to paint that way. I really enjoy three-dimensional pieces. I don't have a lot of time to make art right now. I still garden three days a week and run Echo 4. So um, I'm a busy girl. Yeah. Uh, but I know that winter's coming, and this winter I'll have more. I won't be doing the renovation on the building that I had to do last winter, so I'll have more time to make physical pieces of art myself. Nice. Um, there's no singular medium for me. Okay. Uh, mixed media would be what I would consider that my work. Yeah. Um, I like very quiet statement pieces. I don't know how you can say very quiet and statement at the same time, but that, that would be <laughs> what I like. Um, Understated. Maybe. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Heavily embellished, but with a really gentle feel. Uh, most of my work okay. doesn't come across loud. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a loud or bright person. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's the best way I would describe my artwork. Um, mm -hmm. I'm working on a, a figurine, and it's the first time I felt really free to do something completely for creation. I wasn't making her for sale. So mm -hmm. um, it's, I think it's hard for a lot of the artists when they're making pieces for sale, they change what they're doing often. Um, it changes okay. their dynamic. If you're making a piece for production or sale, you, your heart's in it differently. Um, and I really like to make art that I is an expression without necessarily having to be for purchase. If somebody okay. buys it because they love it, that works for me. Okay. Yeah. And you're open four days a week? Yes. Thursday through Sunday? Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 5. 10 to 5. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this is an awesome place to do any kind of shopping, but especially Christmas shopping or shopping for someone special because there are so many unique items. Absolutely. I just love this store. Thank you. It's Excellent. really special. I've been blessed to have people that have been part of the original factory come in repetitively, and they're delighted that awesome. I didn't destroy their mm -hmm. building, you know, that yeah. it still exists, that it still has that same feel. Um, yes. 
that it's still a welcoming space, and it definitely is. Yes, so, yeah. Yeah. it certainly is. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. For talking to us today. Thanks for letting me be part of it. Absolutely. You're welcome. Yay. Awesome. All right, don't forget, we always have to drill a hole first. We drill the hole to make the gypsy flower. Put it in my nice pony. We strip the cherry. This is cherry. I love cherry. It makes beautiful flowers. And in a second here, we're going to have a flower. Watch this. I want to go that far, that far, that far. I'll go like that. I'm doing this quick, so it's not going to be a beautiful one. You get the idea? That is a flower. That's a flower. What am I going to do with this flower? I'm going to put it on a stick. How's that, folks? How are you down to echo? We do! They're amazing! <laughs>